Well, 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 if it isn't a couple of random people in a Higgins boat. Is that Normandy? You bet your socks. If you want to be part of the playtesting community that I've built, I've got a Discord link. It's going to be in the video description below. Feel free to join it. That's where we're going to be starting some community events, community playtests. If you want early access to playtesting maps that aren't public yet. So if you want to be part of that, that's that's the first place to go. So check it out. We're heading out from the LSTs in the Higgins boats, and we're heading in. <laughs> we got what's up, Mr. Tony the Hello. Tiger, or whatever the heck you are. We're getting shot at from the Alpha Bunker. Don't mind the stuttering Higgins boats, guys. Key point number one, Fortnite is free to play and download, and it's multiplayer. Key point number two, this is our, the first map we've made in Fortnite. So since it's free and it's multiplayer, and we can make whatever we want, well, we made D-Day, because I love D-Day. I love amphibious invasions, and this is what the battlefield looks like with 28 people. Now this map can hold up to 50, and there's over like 400 people playing the game right now. We just hit discoverability and I could not be more excited. Now I'm in the recon class and you sir shouldn't be on the beach. Please get off my beach. This is my beach. Yeah, get off my beach. Our objective is pretty simple. Uh, on the map UI and in the main UI, you can see that we've got to take these four bunkers. A, B, C, and D or Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta. And it looks like my team is doing a fantastic job at getting this objective secured. I could not be more proud of them. Oh gosh, that's a grenade. That hurt. Oh, look at that. Kimby right here is healing me, get me up into action. So this is early. Oh, that's an airstrike zone. You gotta get out of here, Kimby. Run! We've got different weapon classes that you can choose. My two favorite right now are heavy support and scout sniper, which probably means those are the two that need to be adjusted and balanced the most. Cause I like my favorite gun in this entire game is, is literally this like flare pistol because it is awesome. It does damage and it scouts out where the enemy is. Like, look at that. All those little red pinging triangles. Enemies that we scouted. So, we took the bunkers relatively quickly, actually. Like, it seemed like in two or three minutes. And now we have to move past the bunkers in the trench system. Oh, hold on. We gotta, we gotta you gotta heal a downed friend, all right? So, you head in from the LSTs on a Higgins boat, take the beach take this first thing of bunkers. Excuse me, please don't shoot at me. I'm in the middle of an illustration, a demonstration. Look at that sniper over there. I see you. Okay, well, maybe you see me too. I'm gonna hit, head into this bunker and like heal up real quick. Oh yeah, that's nice. So you head in, then you've gotta go through the hedgerows and on towards the village and you see that radar dish? That is the enemy headquarters, but we're not there just yet. Now, the other thing that I wanted to tell you about was the fact that I've got a Discord server. Now, the Fortnite Island code and the Discord server for playtesting are both going to be in the video description below. And honestly, I want to have the island code just like plastered on this thing. Okay, there's a sniper looking. Yeah! All right, a little counter sniper never hurt nobody unless you're the sniper that's getting countered. So, like, look at this. The, the battle is like hot, heavy, fast, furious. It's, it's just like incredible. Like... The enemy right now is really protecting objective point two, which is like this bunker that's out in the middle of the field between the hedgerow and the village. So I'm gonna use this hedgerow as a little bit of concealment and try to do a little bit of flanking and spanking. So this is obviously a work in progress and I would love for you guys to check it out. I'm gonna call in an artillery brush and see if I can't get up to this capture point here, which I called an airstrike in and I caught the grass on fire with my flare. I'm gonna hop in here and start taking it. Try, attempt to. I'm sort of expecting to be counter rushed or someone to lob a grenade in my trench here. Oh, that man is on fire. Actually, I think that's Hambone. One of my co-developers right there. Get out! Yeah, it was, okay. BPG for big play games, baby. But you know what? He, he gave his life for the cause. All right, so we've secured this. I mean, I have. I'm down to one flare, two airstrike or artillery barrage grenades. <laughs> Someone's trying to snipe me. Oh god, grenades. Well, I got snuck up on. So let's try a little bit of heavy support. Each class obviously has their own weapons. I just want to reiterate, I love this because we can make whatever we want. It's free to play and it's multiplayer. Fortnite is the new Roblox. It's the new Ravenfield. I've played so many fun maps on both of those things, but none of them were made in Unreal Engine 5. And that's probably 
the biggest thing about this. All right, let's see if I can't get a grenade in this. This is becoming a, a medical bunker in here. Hey guys, satchel, is just considered satchel charges. <laughs> this is my bunker. All right, so we're capturing it, but like I'm pretty low on health and anyone could do what I did where they just run up and lob grenades in. Ah, like Robotron here. <laughs> Look at the dualies. Oh, they bum rushed it. They, they counter rushed our bunker seizure. So while they did give up the beach bunkers and the trenches relatively easily, I would say, as far as the number of games I've played, that one went kind of quickly. They're putting up a pretty good fight. This area is actually a little bit easier, I think, to hold because you're fighting like the areas in which you're fighting are like completely different. Like here, it's a little more open and they have the benefit of well, this village right here to use. Oh, watch out for the fire. Don't want to get burnt. Luckily, the scouting sniper. Oh, here they go again. And we got a medic right here. Oh, look at these guys. Now we got to watch out for someone. Okay, we captured it. I got to get out of here. Because I do not want to get grenaded in a bunker. And Tony, get back here. We got to heal you, man. One of the things that we're working on right now is trying to make the uh, revive system better. We didn't want to have it to where you're completely eliminated once you get downed by enemy fire. Um, but we need to make it so that you have the option, sort of like Battlefield, where you can like quit or you could wait for a medic. And then we need to make the medic. Okay, hold on. I got Marshall Mathers here. Oh man, like look at this. Just look at how intense the battle is. If you want a very, very intense D-Day for free, made in Unreal Engine, well, you got it here. Island code in the description and on the screen. And we need to take number two and number one. Number one is the hardest right now. Now the map could be balanced and, and changed around, but right now it seems to be working. Hey, Ang, come on and join uh, the fight for freedom against tyranny. All right, so I've got my grenades. Oh man, this is looking like it's a party over here. Wait, a minute, is that an enemy? That is an enemy. You, sir, have been eliminated. Jeez, okay, this is a little bit intense over here, but you can see my team is making a strong push for the objective. We just need number one left. That's the only one we need, and then we can push in to seize the final objective, which is the enemy headquarters. Come on, get in here. We can even dance. That's that's one of the advantages. <laughs> All right, we'll just stay right outside the artillery barrage circle. There we did. So after capturing those three objectives, then you can move on to the enemy headquarters is what's gonna be in the final version. But the enemy looks like they're counterattacking on the third objective. Oh, Master Chief 4667, you are my hero. Thank you. I shall play the horn of triumph to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I absolutely love it. <laughs> oh, okay, well, the enemy's right here, so I should probably shoot them. When there's a lot of bodies, reviving is actually, like, really, really tricky. But we're gonna do it. We will revive this whole squad. This bunker. I'm gonna be a necromancer. Stop moving. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know what? We had dreams. So now the one I want to show off is uh, the soldier. They got the M1 Garand. <laughs> I seen ya. I done seen ya. Excuse me. Where are you going? I want to shake you down. I can't. The enemy is just putting up a ton of resistance. You did. All right, this is kind of funny. This is not World War II approved tech. <laughs> oh, he almost killed me. <laughs> Don't bring a pistol to a light machine gun fight. And then there's the light infantry. Hey. I did some work on that guy and he's still alive. Light infantry is pretty light. Stay still, stay still, I'm resuscitating you. You need to be resuscitated. Yeah, we wanna make it so medics can do this faster. Hey, it's the weekend, what is he doing here? I mean, only in Fortnite, right? Save me, oh allies. Oh yeah, this is great, man. And then I can return the favor. But yeah, see, <laughs> they get blasted. I don't even know where that came from. Oh, it's Aang behind a tractor with a desert eagle. This is, see, this is what, World War II is all about. But in all seriousness, a great D-Day map that we can all enjoy together. Now, if you want to be one of the first to play test the maps that we're working on, because we may or may not be working on a giant 50 versus 50 World War I trench map, hit the Discord link in the description. And don't worry, you attacked, you failed, just like we are about to in 33 seconds. <laughs> this guy's roasting. 
<laughs> Don't worry if you lose, because guess what? It's only one of the rounds. And then, while we rode in on a Higgins boat, and we were on the receiving ends of, uh, say, machine guns and snipers, well, now you're the one dishing out the damage. That guy was looking at me funny. I think we shot him off the boat. <laughs> Look at this, man. Yes. All right, so as soon as they hit the beach... Oh, man, so I guess the thing about video games is you kind of get to re-experience things in really funny and silly ways, right? We're actually storming the beach and counter-attacking the enemy, which is sure is interesting. Ha! Ah, well, I, I wasn't really expecting this. Let's see if we can't ping some of them. Oh my gosh, look at them. If I get in closer, I could call in artillery. Flare guns are pretty good. These poor guys. I am contributing. <laughs> I think that was Pete trying to disco ball me. Now they don't know where I'm at, right? Oh lordy. Retreat! Bravely, bravely, bravely running away. I mean, I'm a sniper, right? Do porcupine. Now, while we ran out there, it did allow a lot of the enemy to, you know, flank up our right side here. Come on. Yeah, all right. I was like, I cannot, I can't miss a non-moving target. That would be embarrassing. Can, can you, can you chill? I'm, I'm trying to snipe non-moving targets. 275. There we go. Pistols aren't the most accurate. This is like where some of the strategy that you hear about from more is like people were like, Leave the injured one out there, and then when someone tries to heal them, that's when you pop more troops. Like, look at this. We're out on the beach here, while they're, like, taking this bunker system over there. Things are getting squirrely. Hey, how are you doing? Not good. I'm just so proud of this, that, like, there's hundreds of people playing this right now. And hopefully, after you guys see this, you're going to want to play it, too. Oh, that was a good shot on the move. Soldier boy, come here. <laughs> this is amazing. Like, look at this. Someone's hiding behind that. Shoot him in the leg. Oh, get sniped in the head because you were standing still on top of a bunker. Here I am talking about how silly everyone else's tactics are. And I'm just like, you know what? The best vantage point's the top of the tower. Oh, and my teammate just got... Whoever that is, you're a great sniper. Oh, the machine gun just got rushed. So after we get taken out, I think it's time to switch on over to... Let's go heavy support for a little bit. Now that the enemy's closing in on the trenches, I think that would be nice to switch over. But you could imagine that, like, as a game like this, if it continues to keep people's attention and interest, you could make it so that there's some progression to it. And you could level up classes and gain greater access to new stuff. Looks like we're getting torn up over there. We're holding down A, though. I hear gunshots. Ang. Rest some pepperonis, my friend. So we hold two, they've taken two. We hold A and B, they've got C and D. You know what? The flanking, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh God, that's bad. Did I stick him? I don't think I did. <laughs> that's not how healing works, Daniel. <laughs> no, bad Daniel. Ooh, I could show you one of my favorite strategies. It works really well in the recon class. If there's a bunch of enemies in a bunker, you first throw an artillery barrage outside the bunker, then you shoot flares inside of it. So it's like, do you want to burn to death or do you want to like come out of the trench? <laughs> oh, they got medics in there. Ow. So we got 43 people in here actually. Oh my gosh. So we started with what, like 30 something? We're at 43, we're almost at a full server. All right, pop and flare strategy. There we go, that works. It might be a little bit too powerful. We might need a nerfus. Oh, someone counter grenaded. That was pretty smart. Well, and once you're in the bunker, you can always just call in danger close air support or do it a little too slow and die like I did. You guys remember the uh, Techno Viking? This is... <laughs> hey, get out of here. Oh! We had no trouble at all taking the outer bunkers. We actually did it maybe a little bit too quick. Oh my gosh, wait a minute, hold on. What is going on in there? I don't know who's an enemy and who's not. Let's clear that out and start reviving. This is a revival. <laughs> Probably never heard that on D-Day maps before. Oh my goodness. 
All right, we got to finish the job. I don't know if they're like mass healing in here, if they're doing their own revival. Yeah, they're healing. Oh, that was medic is my favorite class in the battlefield series of games. That's why in this I want to make I want to make medic great again. I got in that shootout with a blue banana and I lost. So if we check the scoreboard, we're up here. We don't have a lot of eliminations. We're doing a lot of assisting. Vengeance is mine, banana boy. Oh, they're all in the bunker again. This is the best part. This is the old turkey shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change this, aren't I? <laughs> Look at this. This is Unreal Engine 5 D-Day. Shake them down, pass them around. Finish the job. All right, I'm hearing, oh, a lot of footprints. Oh gosh, he's got a, he's got a light machine gun and I got pistols. <laughs> I mean, look at this, this bender <laughs> in the trenches, boy. I think you could say this one seems to be relatively straightforward and we're gonna call it a moral victory. So if you guys wanna jump into D-Day in Fortnite, which is for free, or you wanna help the map get better, or you've got some ideas for maps that you think we should make, well, hop into the game, check it out, hop in our Discord. And I just wanna say thank you guys for the support because this is something I've been dreaming about for a long time, and I wanna make an event where we can all play together. So that'll be handled in the Discord, and we're already underway on making this D-Day map better and a World War I trench warfare map is currently in the works. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, and when you, when you play the map, make sure you like it and favorite it. It helps a lot. Thanks.